This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe, and let's get right into the news. Well, Drake announces that he got a bunch more certifications. So uh, it was supposed to happen on his birthday, but basically what they did was they said this will all go live. Uh, tried to have this go live for you yesterday, but we certified a lot of uh, certifications for your birthday. Drake now has 223 million uh, RIAA digital certified song units as a lead artist, first artist to cross 200 million in RIAA history. Uh, you'll probably start seeing posted online, etc. But some highlights take care eight times platinum, nothing was the same, six times platinum, certified lover boy, three times platinum, her loss, two times platinum, hold on. Uh, nine times platinum started eight times platinum motto eight times headlines eight times take okay we, we get it money to the grave six times money in the grave that's with rick ross right knife talk five times all right good for drake now we got the city girls they flizzied 6k sold right they went eight they said 8k but it was 6k right so anyways First of all, I gotta say, JT, stop with the lip fillers, okay? Come on, you're starting to look like a rubber tube, okay? Stop. Th those lips, huge. That's not your natural lips, okay? It looks crazy. Um, she says, yeah, it bothers us, but the label did nothing to really promote the album. The, a lot of people agree the label didn't do enough, and nobody knew this album was out. They could have at least done 20 thousand i think if everybody knew it was out like in the singles that really came out from it came out two years ago one came out a year ago the other one came out like the day the album came out which should have came out two weeks before um and th they didn't even promote it that much so it's like they don't even care you know it's like they're acting like they care up there they're doing the bare minimum bare minimum bare minimum it's crazy um gene deal says he would testify that puffy Diddy knew Kiffy D. He can't testify that he orchestrated anything, but he said, I'll testify. I'll go to court. I'll testify on what I know because these men deserve justice. Interesting. That could work pretty bad against Diddy. Uh, Jada Pinkett, all those stories, all those podcasts, and you still couldn't sell your memoir. It's a flop. The book released on October 17th sits at number 81 on Amazon Books bestseller list, according to Newsweek. Uh, didn't didn't make the top 100 of Barnes & Noble Publishers weekly list. Um, most celebrity books go, you know, are bestsellers. So anyways, worthy. It's failing to sell as many copies as they expected nobody people are done with jada pinkett man she has to realize she has, she has to just chill out man Nicki minaj i guess uh tasha k said that she refused to sign an nda and she could reveal the conversation they had and she said that you know cardi b and Nicki, they're very much the same and you know she revealed that to Nicki, and Nicki wasn't too happy with that but uh you know, she was saying that she, she wanted Nikki wanted an NDA just to talk with Tasha K. But nah, I don't blame her. But they, I mean, there's nothing really revealing there. Nikki and Cardi, the way they get spiteful and the way they defend everything, they are kind of the same. Tasha K is similar to it, so she could really recognize it. I think too. The game uh, questions Little Pump for painting, getting him like, I mean, he made his girl, he, he has girl nails and feet now. The game says, what happened? Exactly. What did happen? It's crazy. Anyways, I appreciate you all. You all. This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. I will check you guys in the next one. Peace.